Welcome back to our weekly update. I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is your quick look at the stories we've been covering that you need to hear about. Gold was on the decline again this week, dropping below the 1800 per ounce level on Thursday. The yellow metal started the year well above 1900, and market watchers have blamed this week's fall on a rising US dollar and higher treasury yields. It's always good to start with gold, but this week the real story was again in silver. As we discussed previously, the white metal came into the spotlight last week after members of the Reddit forum Wall Street Bets started looking for short squeeze opportunities beyond GameStop. One early post, which has now been deleted, described the silver market as one of the most manipulated in the world. However, it didn't take long before the situation started to change. Over the weekend, Wall Street Bets users began to distance themselves from silver, saying it was a distraction from GameStop. In fact, some even suggested that hedge funds that had lost money on GameStop could be responsible for the posts on silver. At INN, we've been doing our best to keep up with this quickly developing story, and we've heard from a number of experts on what it could mean for silver. The responses have been wide-ranging. Lobo Tigre of Independent Speculator told investors to be cautious and focus on the long-term fundamentals for silver, not potentially short-term hype. Meanwhile, Chris Marcus of Arcadia Economics said he feels like something has broken or is breaking and now is the time to be in silver. Chris also suggested that silver manipulation has now gone viral. And with that in mind, we asked our Twitter followers this week if they think the market is manipulated. The poll was ongoing at the time of this recording, but an impressive 97% of respondents said they think that it is. We'll be asking another question on Twitter next week, so make sure to follow us and share your thoughts. In the cannabis space this week, INN took a look at a change in Australia's rules on CBD products. As of February 1st, pharmacists in the country can now sell low-dose CBD products over-the-counter. Companies are pleased with the change because it should make it easier for them to get their products to consumers. That said, it's worth noting that no CBD products have yet been approved for sale. That's all for this week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates and interviews. You can also follow us on social media or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. See you next time.